right, so me and my buddy just got back from New York City <clears throat> for New Year's, of course. And a couple of people have been asking questions, so I just thought I would uh, make it clear. So the trip starts off with a fucking bang. Actually, it starts the night before. I'm going to give you sort of a timeline of how well I slept for this trip that was awesome. That was fucking rad, actually. So yeah, the day before we leave, I go to my friend's house to, to sleep there so he doesn't have to come pick me up or I don't have to go over there. We're going to leave straight from there to the airport. And we get into a fight. Me and his brother get into a fight over who gets the couch, right? I'm going to New York. It's not like I have anything important to do with this guy. Anyways, I sleep on the fucking floor the day before we're going to leave, right? I sleep two hours that night. I wake up to the sound of fucking somebody trampling down the fucking stairs in the middle of the night trying to find a lighter or some bullshit. Thanks, Rob. Bitch. On the way to LAX, the guy that we're staying with, James' cousin, calls us up and says, hey, our house burned down. We're just like, your house burned down today? The day that we're leaving to go to go there? Really? Hmm. <laughs> All right. So we do what any other responsible couple of buddies would do when you're going to New York. We get out a joint and we start smoking. Hmm. Craigslist. We're scrolling on Craigslist, trying to find any place that'll take us. Because we're on the way. We're on the way, bitch. We're not backing out. So we actually find a couple of places that seem decent. Of course, the pictures are way better than I'm sure how these places look at the time. We get there, and this guy's, hey, you need place to stay? I need money, and we help each other out. Okay. Guy looks like he just woke up off of a 30-day nap or something. Thanks, guys, for helping us out, by the way. So we get in there. Of course, there's no bed for me. So I sleep on a two-piece couch sectional thing. I have to put a box in between the pieces to make it long enough for my white ass to fit. So, And the place is loaded down with cockroaches. Of course, it's New York. What are you going to do? I mean, what are, you, what are you telling me? What are you saying here? <clears throat> of course, there's cockroaches everywhere. Everywhere. Mm, chocolate. Chocolate cockroaches. Yeah, so of course I don't sleep that night, do I? Hell no. Well, two hours. So two hours the first night, two hours the next night. We get up the next morning to go to the Empire State Building. And we get there, and the line is like a fucking theme from a concentration camp or something. I'm talking, everyone's wearing black. The fucking line is like 10 million long. So we're like, fuck this, let's get the fast pass. So we wait an hour, right? Only. So we did it all. We did the Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building, Staten Island. We saw Coney Island. We had a fat slice of pizza. It was five dollars. God damn, five dollars for a slice of pizza? Yeah, five dollars for a slice of pizza. We learned what a knish was. <laughs> this guy doesn't know what a knish is. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, Tony, you're this guy. Yeah, they laughed at us. What's a knish? The pale. Drinking and no sleep. I think the three of us were totally non-responsive by the, by the second half of the shit. After 72 hours, we were just, you know, borderline schizophrenic or something. So that was a good, that was a good fucking trip. It was, it was awesome. I recommend it to anybody that hasn't been. I wish I had got this YouTube shit off the ground a little more before I took the dive. Maybe I could have hooked up with some. Uh, YouTubers, I suppose that's what I really want out of this is to get the key to the city and I mean half of the reason to go back is to see the subway system. I mean it's just F trains and 3 trains and 6 trains and 5 trains and up trains and down trains and any which trains ways you want to go. It's But that's not what makes it awesome. That's awesome in itself. But what's super badass awesome is that <coughs> There's a free concert every time you get there. Right? Guys with horns. And girls with violins out there. And guys with guitars. Bums with guitars. Skeletons with guitars. 
I mean, you saw that. We saw a guy with a, a fucking bagpipe was out there, too. That was pretty badass. I gave him a dollar. And then one night, we got this whole pizza, a pie, excuse me, a pie, a whole pie. I mean, it's like this, actually. It's a big mug. It's like the size of a trash can, right? And the next morning, the guy's like, dude, my pie out. I'm like, yeah, why? The cockroaches ate it. Don't worry about it. I put it in the fridge. There's cockroaches in there, too. Why do you have a refrigerator? Are you fucking with me? No, why do you have a fridge? It keeps shit cold. Well, what good does it do if there's cockroaches in there? You smart guy, huh? Because the guy we're staying with, Danny, he didn't really say any of that. He just made that up on the spot, but that's kind of what he would say. Sort of. And then the fucking guy that we are renting the place from is calling us up every 20 minutes. And he comes by and he wants to, like, refurbish the fucking apartment while we're in there. And we're like, yeah, we're going to be gone all day, so go ahead and, you know, take care of Take care of whatever you do. And of course, we get back, and the whole fucking place smells like paint. Uh, not, yeah, so do I need to say that I didn't sleep that night? Three hours. I think there was one night when we slept six hours. We went to Washington, D.C. for eight hours. Keep in mind, we were probably on eight hours of sleep for the past four days at this point. And I can't sleep on the bus, right? Everybody else is, is snoring around me. A symphony of snores. It's wonderful. Yeah, so we get there, and what's... Oh, Man, it's just so beautiful out there, you know? I mean, Lincoln Monument, of course, that's the biggest. Washington Monument, we saw the Korean War. Vietnam, we saw the new Martin Luther Monument that was up in October. Of course, they were draining the Forrest Gump pit. Jenny! It smelled like piss out there. That's probably why, uh huh? <laughs> you just get a real sense of culture out there. I mean, talking about New York, not about DC, DC especially. I mean, New York is, you know, it was originally one of the 13 colonies, so you get that feeling of all these Europeans and Asian Americans that are here now that came through this, this one island. Because 5,000 people came through Ellis Island. More than 5,000 people came through a day for almost 20 years. That's a good thing to see. I appreciate the situ how it happened. It just... My friend's cousin that I went with, that we were going to originally stay with, whose house burned down, lived in Brooklyn. So if we had stayed there, it might not have been the same because when you're right on the island, Manhattan, downtown, in the art district, it's culture. I've been back for a couple weeks now, and I'm still over there a little bit. And I wish I could see my friends over there. Anyways, it was an awesome trip, and everyone needs to do it. Everyone has to do it. Anyways. Thanks for watching. See ya.